video is not going to be your normal urban exploration video, but it does tell a story of how homes like these are being demolished for newer modern homes, which is so sad. <laughs> new on here my name is Steve Rome. we go on epic adventures every single week man my shoes are so muddy we have to walk through so much my guys we saw the drone shots this place is about to get demolished now I'm here with abandoned Nashville so guys hopefully they can see you in the camera yeah if you've been uh, noticing the recent videos him and I we've been exploring some amazing places down the south and he brought me here you've actually been here before and it wasn't like this at all right no it wasn't how did it used to look like Man, it was just a, a big estate. It was like farmland. All this yard was just like grass, green grass, big long driveway with a with a gate. It was all fenced in. Yeah. And uh, it was really pretty. A lot of really pretty trees and like dude, it's nice, yeah. man. It's not the same anymore, that's for sure. So a lot of the places down the south they turn these areas into um, subdivision homes, and this is probably what's gonna happen. This place is gonna be demolished in like about a month from now. So we came here right on time. I feel pretty lucky to be exploring this place because this place, I mean, look at it. It looks so crazy. The architecture, you're never gonna see these type of stuff again. I'm gonna be documenting this for you guys, taking photos. So definitely check us on our Instagram page, especially Van Nashville. He does all sorts of stuff like this around the South, so you gotta check him out. So that's a brief summary of the place. I, like I said, I don't really know much about it. I had to do research online for that. But um, yeah, before the adventure begins, guys, let's all smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to over 5,000 thumbs up. And I think you guys will join us a lot. Let's go. Let's go. So much. Dude, it's insane. Guys, so we just finally made it inside. I really want to get inside here quick because I don't really want to be seen. <laughs> I'm in the living room right now. We're gonna start from the first floor. I believe there's a basement, uh, the first floor and the second floor. I believe there's three floors to this mansion. Uh, we got the first floor, the basement, and the second floor is upstairs with the bedroom. So yeah, I think we should get ready to explore this place. It looks pretty clean in my opinion. Like I said, this video is not gonna be your normal urban exploration video, but it does tell a story of how homes like these are being demolished for newer modern homes, which is so sad in my opinion. So yeah, it's pretty unique. It looks like at one point in time, someone renovated the place and kind of made it more modern, though there's still a touch of the old architecture in here too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So we're starting off here, looks like the living room area and a lot of the southern homes you'll notice these ceilings kind of like a triangle shape. Um, a lot of people down here are very very religious so they take inspiration from their religion. Yeah if you notice this kind of reminds you of a church. Dang I like this brick wall. Super extra. This is where the fireplace is. But it's nice, like you can sit right there, or you can just put some stuff, especially right here on top of the shelf. Spot something. Here, next to it, is the kitchen. I like how you have this little open bar area, so you can just grab your food, your drinks, and head down to watch TV. Wow, this is a big kitchen. You have a lot of space 
and cabinets to put things in. The oven is pretty modern. And I like how you can get to anywhere of the mansion in just a second. I mean, the living room is just right there. You walk over here. This is like the dining room hall. Wow, the chandelier is still left behind. And then down here is the hallway with other rooms, guest rooms, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Dang, I don't think anyone really knows about this place. I'm not seeing any deterioration at all. The wall looks pretty clean. The paint looks like it's been painted brand new. But I know this place has been abandoned for years. Oh man, what do you think of these curtains? This one's really, really nice. Almost feels like you're in, a, in Europe, living in a royal palace. All right, walking down the hallway now. Hmm. It's like a little kitchen area that leads down to the backyard. Right next to it is the bathroom. That's awesome. I wonder if all the bathrooms have the marble tops. I'm guessing the toilet's just around the corner. Yeah, I like this room downstairs. Could be for a guest room or a bedroom. Really, really big. Oh. Even has its own bathroom. Dang. This looks really modern. Someone left their mints here. Just a garage. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I guess there used to be a driveway back here, but I can hardly tell where it is now. The road is really destroyed. Yeah, I feel pretty lucky exploring this place. It's not even a weekend. And the workers aren't here. So I'm back inside. This is the main entrance. Got these nice marble floors. Dang. Oh, that stairway is absolutely gorgeous. There's a room right over here too. It's situated far from the kitchen and all the loud noises, so I feel like this would be perfect for a library. What's that note? Yeah, I think I assume right. It says vintage books dating back to the 1950s. Got the curtains in this room too. Man, this just makes me wish I had some sort of model to take photos with. Uh, this this whole entire mansion, I'm just seeing so many good backdrops to use. Like this one room, I, I think this room with the main entrance and the stairway is such a good shot. And this room right here is absolutely perfect. But I'm just gonna have to take photos with them empty. Anyway, we're gonna head upstairs now. Right after this whole thing, we're gonna head outside because I think what makes this place really, really good is definitely the exterior.
So now we're on the second floor. I'm seeing one, two, three, four bedrooms up here. I guess we'll start with this one. Oh man, this place is really cleaned up. I'm surprised because eventually it's gonna get demolished. But I hope they don't and they preserve this place. The wallpaper in every room has still been in good condition. I get like a princess vibe up here. It's really big closets. Here's the second room across. Much bigger than the other one. Looks way more modern. I mean, they took out the wallpaper and kind of painted over it. You got the same thing here. Giant closets in this abandoned mansion. What's this? This is like a radio or an intercom? This would probably be used if you have like a maid or a butler. You can easily just call them to come up here. Let's check out the bathroom. Whoa. This is so nice. You got the marble. You got the marble top on the sink. The frame from the mirror kind of looks original from when they first built this mansion. Look at these little touches on the outlets. It's made of stone, it's just carved like that. I'm also liking the color scheme. I would probably keep this. bathroom in the upstairs hallway. <laughs> Immaculate. What the heck is that? At first I thought that's marijuana, but I don't think so. <laughs> this place doesn't really feel abandoned. But they definitely renovated it and made it look really nice and modern. They also kept a little touch of the old style. And same thing, in this bathroom you got the marble tops on the sink. Decent sized closet in the main alley, in the bedroom hallway. Hmm. The only thing here so far, just a mattress. If you're homeless, you can probably squat in here. Ooh, this room has my favorite color. You even have this huge walk-in closet. I feel like this has been more of a real estate tour than exploration, but I've been enjoying it so far and I hope you guys have been too. If you have, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. This looks pretty clean. The door handle has a little bit of Greek architecture to it. It kind of reminds me of like Medusa. They did the same thing for the light switches too. I wish this place had more decay, but it's nice to know that I get to see this place before it gets potentially destroyed and demolished. I'm sure this whole entire field, they're gonna turn it into subdivision homes. This is what's going on down the south. They're really developing very, very fast. 
and places like these will be long gone. This one has an intercom too. The wallpaper is super nice. And you got the gorgeous view outside. Oh man, it used to be farmlands. Crap, there was definitely a wasp nest in here at one point. Not your friendly kind. Alright guys, so <laughs> I just found the basement floor. It's quite hidden. Oh, oh my gosh. It smells so bad in here. There's a lot of wops in here, guys. Most of them are dead. Which is good. But I can see some crawling near the fireplace over there. Someone must have came here and eradicated them recently. I feel even more lucky to be exploring here. Dang, but uh, yeah. Here's the piano. I kind of don't want to be in here now with all these wasps on the floor. Most of them are walking there, so some of them are still alive. That one right there is still alive. I don't know if it can fly. I don't want to get stung to find out. I don't even know if I'm allergic to stings. So I just told Jeremy to come down here to see this all. None of them are flying, which is good. Some are walking. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, they look very weak. Yeah, they all look... Oh, oh. They can't fly. They can't fly. They can't fly? Yeah, he just, he just fell. Okay. Dude, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah, somebody definitely bombed in this place. Yeah. That's gotta be what happened. I mean, they have to have been very recent, because these are still suffering. Man. Walking through here. Wow, dude, look at this pole. So all these are alive. Why? Is it the poison that's making them unable to fly? Yeah, I think they're just slowly killing them. Like, killing them out. Which makes me wonder. Thank what God. Kind of, what kind of I mean, these are the worst wasps, right? They're like red. These are like oh, yeah. vicious. They're straight up like killers. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, this is so cool, like... <laughs> dude, I hate that flying noise, man. I'm getting goosebumps. Normally people can't get this close to these wasps, and here we are just standing right next to it. I'm filming this in 8K. So like, we can see everything when I zoom in. All right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'll see ya. Ugh. Back side of the mansion. Just got out. I know in the beginning I didn't really show much of the exterior, so we're gonna walk around a little bit and show you more things. Apparently, back here used to be another house, but they demolished that too. Dang, look at this thing. It's like a giant chainsaw. This thing must be ancient. I've never explored a place like this before with <laughs> so much destruction in front of me. Well, I have, but not for like a home or a mansion that's about to be demolished. I mean, look. 
I'll give it like another month before this place is potentially gone. So I'm happy to explore this place, even though it was pretty empty. Managed to get a couple of really cool shots though, and witnessing those wasps was pretty unique too. I've never been so up close to them. Now there's one shot I want to get, and I want to get at an even level with the mansion, showing off the destruction. What's up? Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Alright guys, uh, I think that's a wrap. Thank you so much for making it this far to the end of the video. We're gonna start heading out soon, clean our shoes. I got like a three hour drive to do. Might get a haircut too later on. But yeah, I thought this place was pretty unique. Although it wasn't really as decayed as I like it to be, just the fact that like it's about to go away kind of makes this video pretty unique and kind of tells the story of what's happening to these places down in the south. So yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out Abandoned Nashville too. He's got some dope drone shots and some photos. We both did. Links down in the description below. Check out his YouTube channel as well and his Instagram page. But yeah guys, like I said in the beginning, let's get this video to over 5,000 thumbs up. We got some more abandoned homes, mansions coming up. Because this is pretty much the series I've been doing down in the south. So if you haven't yet too, just check out the old videos of the series and come follow what's been happening. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Till next time guys, a lot of freedom more. I'll see you all next time. Peace.